What's up folks? It's the morning of day one of the Crappie Masters 2021 National Championship. We're out here on Darbone. You saw a bunch of pre-fish videos from the lake and uh, well, today's the day. Um, we're going to our, what we're calling our number one spot. We all know that can change, but uh, we're excited. We think we're on decent fish. I think we work hard. We're gonna, we should do pretty good. So. Uh, yeah, all that work goes into this. So here we go. Uh, we're gonna take you for along for the ride all the way to the weigh-in. So 139 boats. So very exciting. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and uh, let's see what we can do with this thing. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies. Folks, as you saw from that that uh, opening, it was extremely foggy, and you can imagine doing this in the middle of the night. Now, this is us going under a bridge right here. Uh, you can't see it very good, and let me tell you, kind of freaky going out there. It took us quite a while, but we got to our location, and we ended up having it uh, just absolutely foggy, but beautiful at the same time, and we're stoked about this tournament. So uh, stick with us all the way to the end, and uh, yeah, this is day one of the Crappie Masters National Championship on Darbone. Well, if you tournament fish long enough, you will have these experiences. Fishing threw us a curveball this morning. Ryan's number one bait and number two bait was failing miserably. He had a lot of great pitches on these fish and they weren't taking it at all. So the only fish bait basically we had going on right now was my bait. And this was not my part of the day. You know, up to this point, Ryan's been the guy that's been pitching it out there 20, 25 foot. And he's going through baits right now, trying to figure out a bait that's going to work. And unfortunately, our start got off really slow. We were putting fish in the boat, don't get me wrong, but we knew we had to improve. And we were really counting on that first two to three hours of fishing up here on the north end of Darbo. Fish number one. It's not what we need, but we're gonna take it. So Ryan's a great partner. He's very calm headed. I'm, I'm sitting there just twisting in my mind. I'm just like, man, we gotta get going. It's about an hour and a half into this fishing tournament. We haven't got many fish going on and we don't, we certainly don't have the size that we need, but he's keeping it, you know, cool headed and we're having a great time just talking and just trying to figure it out. We're gonna stick in this area. We're seeing good fish, but unfortunately we can't get them to bite. And at the same time, we're just trying to get about seven fish over one pound right now. That's always the goal, at least during this tournament right now. That's my first black crappie of this trip. Very aggressive, down on the log. Now a lot of these fish are just hanging on low stumps, low uh, structure. There's no really brush piles out here. It's just a uh, a lot of stumps and so we'll see them hanging on the side we might see them swimming around the base of the trees but we're casting to them at 25 feet and uh we get one, a nice one right here that's going to actually count and it's uh it's just one of those mornings you know we're just trying to figure it out trying to find the fish and they're here uh we only have really one boat in the area so we're kind of pretty much alone which actually feels pretty good Woo, baby still in search of the big fish but you gotta start somewhere that's what i always say folks that's gonna be over a pound, I think, though. Right at a pound. 101.
154. I don't know, kind of a struggle right now just to find the uh, right size fish. So we're making a big move from the north to Main Lake, which is kind of on our way. It's on our way anyway. But uh, right now we're sitting at roughly eight pounds. And uh, so we're about two pounds off. We need, we need to make about three upgrades. And uh, yeah, the struggle is real just to find quality fish catching a ton of three quarters right now so that's what we're gonna do i think our small fish is what 100 uh 105 105 so we have to upgrade from there so folks our move didn't really work out for us as well as we had hoped for um, and that's fishing you know so you go to these tournaments with a lot of expectations you have even pre-fishes that you feel like are pretty good but our move really didn't pay off in fact i don't i think we did end up upgrading at least one fish but we had to go to the weigh-in and this is that footage so i'm gonna go ahead and combine both day one and day two of this event because at the end of the day we just we struggled a little bit and it wasn't that we weren't seeing the big fish but um it was hard to get them to bite and a lot of ang other anglers were saying the same thing and so here's the footage uh right after we got done making that move all right folks well that's gonna end it uh great day i'm gonna take you to the weigh-in so uh Stay tuned for that. It's going to be great. And uh, well, we probably got around eight pounds. So, tough bite today for us. It is what it is. So, that's fishing. They want these guys know how to get right up there to top two. They represent Ozark Rods. Welcome, Matt Mabiano, three pound fishing, Ryan Dooley. Not today, no three pounders in there today. 902, 902 guys. Anything in there? Take your picture over there. Check him out, three pound fishing. Fantastic video. Well, folks, that's going to end it. In fact, the day two, we did about a very similar number, a 9.3, and ended up in, I believe, 79th place out of 139 boats. So we did pretty decent, I guess. I mean, we kind of fi finished in the middle of the pack. Um, but at the end of the day, it wasn't a good tournament for us, and I didn't want to bore you guys with another episode, uh, trying to make an episode out of something that really wasn't. So, you know, these tournaments happen. It's happened once before. Lake of the Ozarks comes to mind. And these are experiences that you still try to document, but at the same time, it makes it real difficult because you're, uh, honestly, you're just out of grind. You're grinding it, and this does happen in fishing. But regardless, we look forward to 2022 and all these fantastic episodes that are about to come up for fall we've got some new products cannot wait to share it with you guys and uh stay tuned and thanks for watching thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies